Hello everybody. Um, I just want to explain uh, real fast uh, BMW N, N as Nancy 52 engine. I'm, uh, I'm having to uh, reset the timing. This car came in as a no start. So uh, there were some codes for the uh, crankshaft and camshaft correlation. Anyway, um, the first thing we need to do, we need to pull the uh, intake manifold. And uh, let's see. We need to install the gauge on the uh, flywheel to set it on the uh, top of the center. Uh, that's the one right there. That's the locking pin. That's the first step um, before we take uh, anything else apart. Uh, the second step will be uh, setting up the gauge or bridge on top of the uh, camshafts, okay? Uh, then we need to remove the, uh, the vanos or the uh, camshaft sprockets. Uh, and the third step is gonna be installing this, the red uh, timing tool which is gonna determine the uh, position of the uh, cam position sensor uh, plates or, you know, phasers. Uh, it doesn't matter which way you wanna call it. Uh, when it gets uh, really confusing is on setting up the uh, camshaft sprockets, but uh, it's just real easy because these uh, sprockets can rotate uh, 360 degrees. So it doesn't matter which way you install it. Uh, it can be uh, up, down, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter the position. So this is the very important thing. Uh, just set up the front timing fixture and uh, behind it, there are some notches that need to line up with the uh, cam phasers. Uh, once everything is lined up, we can go ahead and torque the, uh, the front bolts and uh, the engine should, should be in time. Um, I'm using the old tensioner just to kind of keep tension on the, uh, on the chain, just trying to follow the, uh, um, the instructions. But anyway, uh, I will replace the tensioner uh, in a minute. Uh, so this is how to uh, reset a BMW N52 engine, which is, you know, it takes about uh, 16 hours to do it. I uh, just want to show all the parts. You know, it's going to take a new ball cover gaskets uh, and all that. Some. Uh, Banner solenoids. Oh, here's the intake. Okay. Thanks.